This little guy is Snailfangs. He's like any other Iron Man account on Old School RuneScape. He can't trade or get help from any other players. He stands alone. Snailfangs has one goal in life, and that's to kill every single NPC in the game. Every single one. The catch is he can only kill things in the order of their combat level. So if he comes across a level 6 bat, he must first have killed every NPC from level 1 to 5 before killing that level 6 bat. Additionally, Snailfangs is playing with Bronze Man mode rules where he can only use or buy items he first gets as a drop from an NPC. That means he can't even use a sword he found laying on the ground until he first gets it as a drop from an NPC. One day Snailfangs would take on the biggest and scariest monsters in the game, starting from the bottom. Alright, so I did a couple things since uh, my last recording session. Um, I highlighted all the imps that I'll be able to catch once I get into Puro Puro, so you're going to see those guys floating around. Um, I also updated my list of to-dos, essentially, so that it's um, a little bit more in line with what's going to be happening. After I get to 65 Hunter, I'm going to get the Spotted Cape. Um, I'm going to get some Impling Jars. I'm going to get the Butterfly Net first at Puro Puro. Then I'm going to get the Jar Generator. Um, there are some things from the Implings that I think are going to be uh, not essential now, but useful enough now that I'm going to be grinding them out while I'm in there. Okay, yeah, I forgot to include the baby impling on my on my list. Yeah, I'll get into that when I get to it, but essentially it's going to be the chisel from the baby impling, a terramin cleaned from the uh, nature impling, from a magpie, I'm actually going to be getting a ring of life, the amulet of power, a rune square shield and a dragon dagger, simply because those are all explicit upgrades from my current gear, and the dragon dagger is going to be a significant uh, upgrade from my steel dagger. After that, I'm going to be going to the chinchampas, um, and then the jubbly bird. If I can do chompy bird hunting, I'll get into that when we get there, and then go on to do lost tribe and get the goblin. Miner, as well as do jungle potion and get the large mosquito. I also noticed that I could potentially do the Falador easy diary. I haven't like completely checked the requirements for it, but it looks like we're doing good there. So we might be doing that after. And then once everything is done with that, uh, there's basically nothing on the backlog, and it's all just forward from there, as far as I can tell. So yeah, uh, let's finish up this 65 hunter grind and. Continue on with that list. And here it comes. 65 Hunter. I can catch magpie emblings. Oh boy. Let me collect the rest of this fur. Okay, so with that, got a couple of new things. Dark Kebet fur, chocolate kick slice, and this mirror tail, which is just gonna go down here for now. Okay, got me a spotted cape. Look at me, I'm all kinds of weight reduction now. Oh. This is where it happens, right? Yeah, I think this is how it happens, because he like, circles around. Yeah! Oh cool! <laughs> I've actually never seen that before. I can push through wheat faster for 30 minutes. Thank you, Jagex. I appreciate it. Oh boy, here we are. I will buy six, please. There we go. Got some impling jars. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a jar generator for three essence implings, two eclectics, and a nature. Nice. They're triggered. There's an eclectic. Another essence. The third essence. Oh, almost. Okay, got my three essence. I just need another eclectic and a nature impling. Okay, now I just need to find a nature impling. And there's nature impling. Easy. Let's do it.
And there's a nature. Okay, so now with these emblinks, I can get myself a jar generator. And there we go, a jar generator. Perfect. Okay, so now this guy. One hundred charges. Nice. And if I use one, it gets out three. Okay. So I can just do this for a bit. That is a god awful noise. So okay, now I need three gourmet implings. Actually, can I even wield a magic butterfly net? Let me see here. Hunter level of 17. Yeah, easy. So I need one essence impling. I need two earth implings. And three gourmet implings. And a, another gourmet. Okay, so there's three gourmet implings. I just need an earth impling. Okay. And with this, I can get an upgraded butterfly net. That is one magic butterfly net. Awesome. I can wield this. And honestly, I think I could just drop this uh, butterfly net. I don't really need it anymore. And I can always just get one pretty easily. So goodbye, butterfly net. Let me open this gourmet bling. Oh, nice. So any of them that are highlighted are the ones that are going to be benefiting me. And there we go, chisel. I no longer need... Actually, do I need baby implings anymore? Nope, I do not. Now I am going to search for nature implings. What else am I getting here? Oh, I got some clues and some cheese. Some eclectics. Wow, okay, I'm getting all kinds of unlocks here. Got cheese. That mithril pickaxe is a direct upgrade from my steel pickaxe. That's awesome. But did not mean to catch that. Whatever. Oh, curry. Nice. Don't know where all the nature implings are. Mysterious old man. Uh, sure, I'll solve a puzzle for you. Eh, nothing new. I can wield those steel arrows, though. Alright, where was I? Looking for a nature impling. Or a magpie. Oh, there's a nature impling. Come here, you. Ah, oh, darn. Never lucky. Oh my gosh, they really like to run, don't they? Come on. Yes, okay. Save this one for the... Uh, whatever it's called. The next jar generator. Okay. Magic logs! Nice! Another nature. Ooh, cactus spines. Not incredibly useful right now, but will be useful in the future. I'm gonna have to bank this stuff because I'm gonna fill up pretty fast. Actually, I can check these. Let's see if they require a spade. That one does not require a spade. Coif, iron plate body, leather gloves. I can't do that one. Oh, there's another nature. Yes. Oh, there's two nature implings. Oh, give me you. Or you, you work. Good. And awesome, two in a row. Ah, there's the Terramin. Nice. I only need nature implings for the jar generator now. So now I just have to look for magpies. Ooh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Push through. Come on, magpie. Give me it. Give me it. Yes. Ooh, a sinister key. Not terrible. Can't really use it right now, but it's something. Come on. Catch it. No. Yes. 
Trap in the corner. Very good. Magpie. <gasps> Rune Square Shield. Awesome. That's a pretty baller upgrade. No. Magpie. Yes. <gasps> Ring of Life. Oh, that's what I came here for originally. Okay, I am going to stick it out just a little bit. I might leave a little early, <laughs> but... I at least have the thing that I came for, the Ring of Life and the Chisel. I am going to stick around a little bit to get the Dragon Dagger and the Amulet of Power. Um, I'm not going to stay here too long, but I would like to get those. There's another magpie. Let's see if someone comes running around the bend. Oh. Yes. Oh, tooth half of key. <laughs> I already have that unlocked, but thanks. All right, there we go. There's another magpie. Let's see if I can catch it. Yeah, no. Uh, yes. Perfect. Magpie. No, oh, I need. It. <laughs> I guess I'll fill up these jars, go bank, and then uh, finish up. Yes. Okay, that is a full inventory of magpies. I am going to bank, going to do this clue, and uh, yeah. Okay, let's see all the new unlocks. So I got a mithril pickaxe, that's nice. Curry, cheese, chisel, the rings of life, which is the two things I uh, came here for originally. Got another tooth half. So now I have a unbuilt uh, crystal key. Not that I would ever make the mistake of making one. Uh, cactus spine. Some chaos runes, coins. Oh yeah, magic log. And my terramen. Okay, so these terramen are going to be pretty big. Um, oh yeah, why do I not have that stuff with me? I want to take a terramen with me pretty much at all times in case I get a Dr. Jekyll event. Oh, and a sinister key. Almost forgot about that. Okay, I'm going to try to do this beginner clue after I open these magpies. Let's see what I get out of them. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Oh, what's that noise? That's a nice noise. Oh, yes! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that didn't take very long. What about these other ones? Oh, ring of forging. Not bad. Mystic Gloves. Another Dragon Dagger. <laughs> More Rings of Life. Another Square Shield. Mystic Boots. Ooh, and a Hard Clue. Can I even do this Hard Clue? Requires a Spade. I cannot do that Hard Clue. So, what all upgrades did that just provide? This Dragon Dagger. Can I even wield this thing? Is this, is this a miracle? Oh, you have to complete Lost City to equip it. Oh, crap. What do I need for Lost City? Uh, I can't even equip this thing until I get level 101 creatures. Uh, fuck. Well, it's there for when I get to it. I still can get a upgrade from Magpies, which is the, um, the Amulet of Power. And I can also get a like a rune warhammer which now it is a four tick weapon so that's pretty cool too rings of life actually yeah i'll worry about cleaning up the bank later let me try to do this beginner clue and if i can do it fantastic if i can't uh rip me the wizard's tower basement okay okay what you got for for me charlie a leather body crafted by me. Ooh, I do have a leather body unlocked. Can I make it though? Okay, I need leather and thread. I'm pretty sure I have thread. I'm pretty sure I have some cowhide. Yeah, let me just make a few in case I need to do it again. Okay, I need soft leather. So let me just tan all of these. Very good. That is safe because nothing drops regular leather. Just double, triple check that. 
Yeah, nothing drops regular leather. And I just make a leather body. Only one, a leather body. There we go. Let's take this back to Charlie, who totally won't steal it. Here is your leather body. Oh, you're gonna give me another clue. I see how it is. Hans and Leverage. Oh my god. I'm not walking back there. <laughs> nice. Okay. What's this gonna get me? Actually, I probably can't open it here. Let me, let me get to a bank. Bank this stuff and then open up my reward. Okay, and what I get? Ooh, an oak longbow and a steel longsword. I'm fairly sure that this steel longsword isn't an upgrade to my steel dagger, but I can now make these for smithing training. And an oak longbow I can use as an intermediate for training ranged when I get to that point. So that's those are pretty good. I like that. I'll worry about fixing that later. Yeah, because I do have a willow as well. All right, I need to get back to Piro Piro and uh, get some more magpie implings caught. That's right, fucking run away. Hey, nature tiara. Kind of worthless, but uh, there we go. <laughs> Don't you dare. Yes, okay. Diamonds, straight up diamonds. Not terrible. Yes, easy. Ooh, what's this? Snapdragon seed. Nice, I won't be able to use that for a very long time. Yes, yeah, so I do. I will fill up my inventory full of magpies, bank, and then fix up my bank. That's what I'll do. And then I'll open up all the, uh, the magpie jars later. I cleaned up my bank a little bit and I got all these magpie amplings. I'm going to open them up real quick and, uh, yeah, see what we get. Oh yes. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. So this rune Warhammer is, uh, pretty dope. This is a massive upgrade from the steel dagger. Let me just double check to make sure that it is indeed a, the same attack speed. So, you know, I thought they changed Warhammers to have the reduced attack speed. Is that just not in Runelight yet, or what? Hmm. Okay. Well, either way, it's a nice upgrade to have. Uh, what else am I going to get out of these magpies? Let me just power through this real quick. Ooh, black dehyde. Actually, I'm just going to bank this stuff and then close my eyes and open up the rest of them real fast just to see what I get. So I'm excited. Okay, here I go. Ooh, okay, so I got a runite bar. Nice. And then everything else is a repeat. But I still don't have my amulet of power. Oh, it's plus six instead of plus four. And it has a plus six strength bonus. Um, honestly, if I need, if I need it at some point, I'll get it. But, um, as for now, I think the amulet of accuracy is just going to have to do. So, um, another little piece of content that was added, uh, recently, actually just today, uh, Corind got a big update with the A Kingdom Divided quest, and that also includes um, some new monsters. So I'm going to see if they are in the bestiary. I was pronouncing it incorrectly before. Let's see if they're in the bestiary. The new quest is going to be locked out behind doing uh, a whole bunch of stuff. I won't be able to do it until level 160, or actually, whoa, until a level 239 creature. Oh boy. Uh, looks like there were giant spiders added to West Corind as well as a new level 5 boar, so I'm going to have to do that. A level 22 bandit. Let me see if there's already been a level 22 bandit first. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'll get there when I get there. A new necromancer at level 54. Uh, the boar is definitely something that I'm going to have to go do. 
Um, but next, the most immediate thing are some chinchampas. So I'm going to go kill myself a red and a black chinchampa. So let me, let me go kill a black chinchampa first, since that's probably going to give me the most amount of pain. Okay, there is a black chinchampa. Quick one second adventure. There you go. Kill this black chinchampa. There you go. Pop. Let me get out of here. That's right, there's a new Castle Wars entrance now. Oh, that's so much faster. Okay. Let me get over to the red chins. That'll be two knocked off the list real fast. I'm sure they won't mind if I kill one. And bonk. Nice and easy. Chins are out of the way. Red chinchampas and black chinchampas. Okay. Now, next up is not on the list either, but it was just added with the most recent quest, and I need to get over to Corind. Oh wow, yeah, look at this, it looks so different. Nice, so the, apparently the boar is over here somewhere. So let me, uh, let me get over there. Oh, nice. Level 5 boar, level 7 boar. Oh, there's another one as well. Okay, well, um, why isn't that listed on the updates page? Yeah. Okay, well they don't mention a level 7 boar coming into the game, but there is one, and um, I can kill it. There's the level 5 out of the way. I don't think that these guys are going to drop anything incredibly unique. I do have a pretty funny animation though. Just bones. Let's see if there's anything about them in the wiki. Looks like they only drop bones according to the people who have already entered it into the wiki. Okay. Well, there's a boar. If there is more monsters that I can do right now, um, or soon, uh, do let me know. It's not currently in the bestiary, and that's basically how I've been driving the whole monster list, is what what's in the bestiary. I do have pretty good knowledge of the game, but I don't have, like, that good where I know literally every single monster. But, uh, yeah, so that's a level 5 boar and a level 7 boar knocked out. What is next? Ooh, the jubbly bird, level 9. Let's see here. Okay, looks like the regular chompy bird is level 6. So that is also up there. But, can I even do big chompy bird hunting? This is something that I was going to talk about earlier, but I'll go ahead and bring it up now. There are level 64 wolves and level 53 ogres around the area, but I don't actually have to kill any of them. I only have to kill wolves for wolf bones, which I can now do, since those are level 14 in the Stronghold of Security. Um, additionally, uh, I'm going to need to get 30 ranged, but before I get to that point, actually after that point, okay, so once you kill the chompy bird, right, uh, you're instructed to cook it, and in the cooking list there is onion, dougal leaves, equa leaves, tomato, potato, and cabbage as like possible ingredients that he's going to want. Uh, that is great and all. But if I get a tomato or a potato, then the rest of the quest is locked out. I'm going to go ahead and start the quest uh, because I don't know. Like, I simply don't know what I'll need. And if I end up not needing it at all, then I can indeed get this done. So I'm going to get up to the point in the quest where I'm cooking it, which is basically the end, and see if I need either a tomato or a potato. If I do, uh, great, I can continue on with the quest and finish up with the jubbly bird but um until then let me get to that point i already have five fletching right oh yeah i have 46 fletching from the <laughs> from the winter talk grind i am going to get to training 30 ranged 
It's going to be kind of interesting, um, simply because, well, I can't make my own arrows. I have to buy them. I have plenty of uh, GP to purchase them. But uh, it's going to be an interesting grind, to say the least. I'm going to spend almost all of my time uh, training up to 30 ranged at Goblins uh, in Lumbridge. Why, you may ask? Because I do know that there is a Goblin Champion coming down the line, and if I can get a head start on that, that'd be great. <laughs> so, uh, what do I have as options for my bows? Looks like I have an Oak Long Bow and a Willow Short Bow. Can I make a bow to start off with? I have one bow string for now. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use that... Um, that training one until I can wield the um, the oak longbow, which is level five, so it's not that bad. Can I do this without using the training bow? Is the real question. A plain short bow does indeed drop from a monster. It drops from a skeleton in Tarn's lair. What about a longbow? Ooh, the longbow, however, is not dropped by anything, so it's free to just buy whenever. I'm going to need bronze arrows to start off, and then I can graduate into my iron arrows. And then I'll be able to use steel on the oak bow when I get to that point. Willow I can wield at 20. Oh nice, I can get up to my willow bow eventually. Leather body. And studded chaps I'll eventually be able to wield. Okay, so ranged combat tutor. Is there anything you would like to know? Automatically equip. It's a very useful thing if you don't already know about it. Uh, talking to the ranged tutor will make it so that if you pick up arrows off the ground, it will automatically equip them for you. So let's say I uh, remove these bronze arrows. I drop them. I pick them up. Well, if I had bronze arrows on me, they would be put into my equipment slot. Okay, and then also with the magic combat tutor, uh, I think, yeah, it works the same, but it works for runes going into your rune pouch. Okay, I am here. I can buy a longbow. Very good. Longbow is not dropped by any monster. However, I also came here and noticed this. I don't think I've ever seen just like regular crossbow before. It is dropped by nothing, and I can fire bronze bolts out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's one-handed, right? It's not as good as the, as the longbow. There you go. I am going to be training ranged up to 30 on some goblins. And uh, we'll see how lucky I get. All right, here we are. Um, this is actually where I ground ground. This is actually where I grinded out my uh, goblin champion scroll on my main. It's a great place to kill goblins, uh, very obviously. <laughs> so I'm going to be here training ranged until level 30. If anything interesting happens, I'll see you along the way. Otherwise, I'll see you after that grind. And there we are, level 30 ranged. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the bank and see what all I got. All right, um, let me go ahead and just deposit all of my stuff. Oh, nice! Let's go into the bank. I didn't even <laughs> didn't even know that a lot of a lot of stuff you get from randoms don't uh, go in the bank usually. Um, so yeah, I'm able to equip all of my ranged stuff now. Got my stylish looking pants on and my coif, as well as a willow short bow. That's what I've got unlocked for myself, so that's cool. As for the unlocks, just go ahead and deposit this real quick. So, the unlocks, um, I really didn't get anything new. Uh, that's to be expected, right? I ended up killing 642 goblins. No scroll, I know I can't get spoon fed everything, but. Uh, I did get a reward casket in this mystery box that I was saving uh, for when I'm doing a voiceover. I just kind of did all that in the background. I didn't really record it, but let's see what I got. Hmm. 
a wizard road top. I'm pretty sure it is the exact same as my uh, my current black robe top that I have. However, these leather van braces, I am pretty sure I uh, don't have that sort of thing. Yeah, so that's good. That is going to be a nice little upgrade for my ranged setup. Let me just go ahead and put that where it goes. <laughs> what did I get from my mystery box? Ooh, a casket. This could be a couple of things. And it's just coins. Yeah, nothing too important. All right. So, now that I have 30 ranged, I need to see about doing big chompy bird hunting. Can I even do this quest? Let me get up the quest guide. Nice. Okay, so now if I equip this thing, I should be able to shoot at the chompy bird. Hell yeah. This is awesome. Okay, so this chompy bird just, is get, just gets done with the quest, so it's easy enough. There you go, chompy bird, done. Let me uh, pick up my arrows because I'm a poor motherfucker right now. Equileaves. And... Tomato! Fuck, all right. Well, unfortunately, tomato is one of the ones that I have the inability to get. So let me, uh, let me mark that in my list. Well, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I did get the chompy bird, just the plain old chompy bird out of the way. But uh, that leads me to my next one, the Cave Goblin Miner level 11. Um, in order to do this guy, I need to complete Lost Tribe. Now there's no randomness to Lost Tribe. It's just a matter of getting in there and doing it. I have the ability to now because I have the reward for the quest completion, and that is the Ring of Life. So I am good to go there. Time to just do Lost Tribe. <laughs> that is not what they did at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so I made it to the end. I can potentially kill these cave goblin miners. Let me, uh... Let me try that real quick. Oh, I can. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And there we go. Just like that, Lost Tribe is done. Okay, and I got my Ring of Life as a reward. Not that it matters, I already have it. No new unlocks, nothing broken. Cool, so now that I have that done, I already did the Cave Goblin Miner, so that is out of the way. So, next up is the Large Mosquito, level 13. And in order to do that, I need to finish Jungle Potion so that I can do uh, Taibo Wanai cleanup. Alright, so... <laughs> uh, I actually just started up a new recording session from the previous day, and right after the uh, last recording session I had, I took a look at what it's going to take to... Uh, actually get to the large mosquito and it's a bit further behind uh, the list than I thought. Um, that's for a couple of very very big reasons. Uh, for one, yeah I can now do jungle potion, that's fantastic, but uh, I also need to do Taibo One-Eye Trio to be able to do Taibo One-Eye Cleanup. Um, and Taibo One-Eye Trio requires quite a few things that I uh, apparently just did not note down in my uh, my previous list. Uh, so I'm just going to go through them real quick um, and kind of discuss why Large Mosquito is going to be quite a bit more down the line. For one, uh, Taibo One Eye Trio needs 65 fishing to complete if you burn your first Kurombon, which you could potentially get around by just like super boosting your cooking uh, so that it's a little bit less of an issue. Uh, but if I for some reason burn the first one, I'm going to have to get 20 fishing, right? And getting 20 fishing with my current stance is pretty much impossible. Uh, the, there's no way for me to train fishing right now. Uh, so I would have to get it through lamping up or something. Uh, the fastest I could get to it is by getting to level 20 so that I can get a small net from a forgotten soul. However, 
Uh, even if that was uh, the minimum requirement getting to level 20 for the Forgotten Soul, uh, I also need an Iron Spear for Taibo one Eye, which the earliest that comes is from a Hobgoblin at level 28. Uh, even beyond that, I need to get an Agility Potion, which if I don't get it from Dr. Jekyll, uh, comes from a level 40 skeleton. <laughs> uh, even after that, uh, I need a banana for the quest so that I can make it into banana slices, and that is dropped by a level 53 ice giant. And even more fun, I need joker bones to complete the quest, and that's only dropped by a level 53 joker, so that's even more separating it off the table. But the, the real kicker here is I need a pestle and mortar. And Pestle and Mortar is actually locked out for me until level 81, because they drop from zombies. And the lowest level zombie that drops it is a level 81 zombie, I think, in Tarn's Lair. So, all that to say, uh, <laughs> this large mosquito is actually going to be locked out until I can get all of that stuff. So it's probably only going to come around at level 81, unless a update comes out with an updated drop table for a pestle and mortar. Alright, so with that out of the way, I can get back to level 15 stuff. Which, the very first thing on the list is a level 15 forester. So, let's go kill a forester. They only exist in the woodcutting guild. And, well, you don't necessarily need to get inside the woodcutting guild to kill a forester. So let's go do that. And there is my victim. Sorry, Forester, but uh, it has to be like this. Oh, that's a magic level. And there's level 15 Forester. They only drop bones, so nothing too interesting there. What is next? Okay, after the level 15 Forester is a level 15 Barbarian. Where can I find this guy? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> that was... that's easy. Just kill this level 15 Barbarian. Oh, he's using arrows. That's rude. How dare you. Attacking with range against defenseless me who has no ranging ability. And there you go. Barbarian dead. Oh! <laughs> Clue scroll? Can I do it? I can do the first part. Oh boy. <laughs> well, it's a shame that I already cooked all my trout. I can't actually obtain another trout. Oh well. Alright. I need... my hammer and a knife. Because the next monster is a level 15 rogue. And those guys are only in the wilderness, so let's go do that. And there we are. There is our level 15 rogue. These guys don't drop anything too special, but uh, here they are. There are higher level ones in the rogue's dit or the rogue's castle, in the really deep wilderness. I guess I am really deep wilderness, but you know what I mean. But these level fifteen ones are just here. There we go. Some coins in case some PKer comes along and really wants my five coins. All right, what is after a level 15 goblin? Or after a level 15 rogue. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's a level 15 goblin. <laughs> uh, looks like they only exist in the God Wars dungeon. Actually, there's the wilderness God Wars dungeon. What does it take to get into there? <sighs> God, I, I hate that I am, well, actually I don't hate, I, I'm actually, really fascinated on just how much there is to think about for this account. Okay, so I just stumbled upon the level 15 God Wars Dungeon Goblin, and I completely forgot that there is the wilderness version of the God Wars Dungeon. And I can get there with just 60 strength or 60 agility. I'm pretty, I'm pretty close. I'm relatively close to 60 strength. So I think I should get 60 strength and then go and try to kill all of the stuff that I previously had locked out. Let me just double check to make sure that 
level 7 imps and level 12 goblins are in there. Okay, so I just did a little bit of research, and it looks like I can get to the level 7 imp in the Wildy God Rush Dungeon, as well as the level 15 goblin. Uh, I can't get access to the level 12 goblin, that is only in the God Wars dungeon proper. So let me go get 60 strength. Let me go get 60 strength and then uh, go do that. So a little bit of a grind, but whatever. Well, where better to train strength than at the goblins again? And maybe I'll get lucky with a scroll. I guess we'll see. I highly doubt it, but it could happen. Again, I've already killed 642 of them here. Eh, I don't know how many more it's going to take to get to level 60 strength, but let's see. <laughs> 